Hi everyone. Tuxedo Mask Darian here, or Evening Code Hyde. And today we're going to talk about is, was there a fight between Sailor Moon and the Mike Keepers? Now, the grounds why I asked this was <clears throat> not that there was a fight between them, because, well, we all know that one was a drawling show and one was a live show. But I mean, was there a fight going on between the Folkworks back in the day? I mean, <clears throat> a lot of folks seem to think that, you know, that the English offshoot of Sailor Moon, at first done by Deke and later on by Cloverway, some folks seem to think that it was only done to take on the My Keepers, which was being done by Siobhan and later on Disney and then Siobhan and then Hasbro. Um, the answer would be, I don't know. At the time, the Mike Keepers were on Fox before they got their, before they got ABC and ABC Ken and Toon Disney and Nickelodeon Netflix and Sailor Moon was on, you know, UPN, WB, Fox, USA and Cartoon. And that was only in the and the four one rights and the settled land it was on YTV. Um so anyway, was it truly like that? I would say if it was a fight it was truly uneven. Because even though Sailor Moon had gotten had the UPN and WB deals, they really never really got the same time slot the Mic Keepers got when they were on Fox. You see, so it wouldn't have been, so it's not like Sailor Moon would have made, you know, that much good time in the ratings. And later on, when Sailor Moon was on USA and Cartoon, or Light Drawing, I think the time slot would have been a little more good for them. But still, I don't think it was an even fight. And if there was a fight going on, it was going on between Siobhan and Deke. Who had a falling out. You see, Han Siobhan used to work with Andy Hayward to make a lot of songs for a lot of Deke's drawing shows and live shows over the years. And you see, Han Siobhan had owned half of Deke or whatever the grounds was and sold his half back to John Kapan, uh, Japan. I however you say his name who was one of the former owners of Deke along with Andy Hayward. Andy Hayward didn't like that, had a law work against Han Siobhan, and Han Siobhan ended up settling, making a deal, and ended up, you know, selling Deke back to him. And after that, well, the kinship between Han Siobhan and Andy Hayward went downhill. Both men, you know, I don't know, but after that, Andy Hayward had, would fight Han Siobhan in every show he was making. So yeah, there was a Deacon Siobhan fight going on at the time. And both businesses were owned by Disney. A Deke had gotten owned by Disney from 9 between 95 YL to 2001 YL. And Siobhan was owned by Disney from 2001 YL to 2010 YL. Now, if there was a fight between both of the shows, it couldn't have been over watch time. Because as we told you, the Mike Keepers always seem to get greater watch time on what shows, what folk works they were on. It would be Fox or ABC or ABC Ken or Toon Disney or Drawling Show Disney or Nickelodeon or Netflix. And when Sailor Moon had their UPN and WB and USA and Cartoon or Live Drawling deal, it was never really the same. So there was a fight between us. It wasn't a watch time. Would it be in uh, dolls being sold? I don't know. I don't really know if there were more Sailor Moon dolls sold than my Keeper dolls being sold around that time. And to be earnest with you, we have a lot of onlook for the Mike Keepers. And I would believe the Mike Keepers would have onlook for us. 
Now, a lot of folks like to say there were a lot of things that were the same between both shows. Yes, shape-shifting, fighting Athena of the Week. But that was really, really, really only two shows were the same. Yes, folks are going to bring up kinship between Mike Keepers and Sailor Moon and stuff. Um, they're going to bring up how, you know, some folks from both shows are brainwashed and how some folks were, you know, how the folks did almost the same thing. And yeah, I guess you could say that. Now, at the end of the day, if there was a Sailor Keeper war going on between Sailor Moon and the Mike Keepers, it was an even war. And if it was a war, well, it was only one side. And at the end of the day, I don't even think Sailor Moon and the Mike Keepers were really truly fighting each other. Now, by the time Sailor Moon got to the North Vinland and the rest of the English-speaking world, the Mike Keepers had been going on for at least three years by that time and had three followings. So, unless, you know, and by that time... You know, it, it was what it was. I don't really think there was a fight between them. And I know some folks are going to say, oh yeah, there was. They're going to say, oh, and there still's a fight. They're going to say, they're going to bring up how Sailor Moon's got a folk work now. And how the Mike Keeper's got a folk work now. And about how there was a lot of things that were the same between the shows. And things. And bring up the whole how Siobhan wronged a deep back in the day. Well, if it was true, then it would have been some kind of unwar between Nigo Takechi and Han Shavon, which I don't really think there was any fight between neither of those. So no, I don't really think there was a Sailor Moon Mike Keeper war. And just like what I said, I don't think one show is off shooting from the other. I think a lot of tropes and a lot of things that were being done were done in all drawing shows and live shows that had over good doers who shape shifted. Um, so that's just me and my thoughts on this Sailor Moon Mike Keepers war. Was it a thing? Was Sailor Moon at war to Mike Keepers? The answer would be no. Because when you stop to think of it, one had an upside. One was a drawing show, one was a live show. One had more dolls sold than the other, and one was getting more good watch time and looking on the folk works that they were on over the years, while the other one did not. So anyway, if you like this film, then follow me over here at Salem Moon for Life. Watch the other film we made yesterday over here when Salem Moon talks about, are we getting Sailor, is Salem Moon Cosmos or Salem Moon World coming? I, Tuxedo Mask, Darian, and I'll see you later. Bye.